Hi, this is Mr. Schaefer. I'm going to talk to you about Google Apps for iPad. Mainly Google Drive, Slides, Docs, Sheets, the Google Search Engine, and Google Photos. Chrome, Translate, Google Earth are also Google Apps, but they're not the most used Google Apps. The Big Six. Google Drive is for organizing, folder creation, uploading photos or videos, sharing, and much more. Google Docs, great for creating documents, sharing, and even offline editing. Google Sheets, for spreadsheets, and again, offline editing. Google Slides, for creating presentations, and also features offline editing. Uh, Google Slides, Docs, and Sheets are the better solutions for when you are creating on your iPad because they are always backed up to the cloud and you can share and move the files. Google searches for access to other services. You can actually search with your voice. And something that's new is Google Photos for backing up and sharing. I'll talk with you a little bit about that later as to how to set that up so that all of your images are backed up to Google Photos. Each app requires you log in. Once you're logged into one app, you are logged in to all apps, though, so it's very convenient. You will need to log in with our new G Suite login, which is just your username at da.org. You do not need to use at students.da.org any longer. Each app has a setting that you can tap on your name in the upper left corner to reveal. Settings is a small gear inside. You can also see what is starred, offline, etc. A note, if you're doing files like docs and sheets and spreadsheets, do not keep the files offline as that stops the syncing process. So if you work on your iPad and then go to a computer and log in, the file will not be there. Google Drive. Organize. It's the big organization tool. You can create folders, docs, etc. You can also upload photos or videos using the camera. If you press on the blue circle, the plus sign, you will see the icons for creating a new folder, for uploading a photo or video. You can use a camera to take a picture, or you can, of course, create new Google Docs, Google Sheets, or Google Slides. In Google Drive, you can press on the three dots, also known as a hamburger, to show more actions. You will also notice there are sometimes silhouettes in some folders. That means those folders are shared with someone. To a great thing to do if you want to create a document in a shared folder is simply open that folder in Google Drive first and then make your document as that will put it into the folder and the document will inherit all of the sharing settings. Google Docs app. Again, you press on the circle with the plus to get new. You can view an icon mode or press the grid code. The three dots or the hamburger will also show you uh, more information and details. Google Slides app, very similar. And it is better than Keynote as it can be shared and is stored in Drive automatically. Something new this year is Google Photos app. There are a couple things you want to do when you launch it. And one is you will sign in. Number two, you'll set it to sync and backup. Number three, use high quality for the image size. And of course, number four, you'll have to grant access to photos. Again, only take photos for educational purposes and with permission nice thing about using Google Photos is once the images are in Google Photos, you have access to them in Google Docs, Google Slides, and other Google Apps. The Google Search app is really useful. You can do voice search, either press a microphone or just say, OK, Google, and ask it a question. 